hello children so let us start our english period uh, with a good thought so what is written here that is good is not good when better is expected very true na children good is not good when better is expected so we all that is your parents or teachers everyone is expecting better or rather we can say the best from you right so always give the best so it is truly said good is not good when better is expected okay children so keeping this in mind we will move forward we will uh, start the chapter in the last video we have uh, seen the introduction of volcanoes i have shown you amazing pictures of volcanoes right children so let us start 2.4 so before starting i just want to tell you that we left the chapter 2.3 that is uh, what is the name of the chapter ha a wall magazine for your class children this is an activity based chapter so this chapter we will uh, take later later on okay afterwards we will take uh, see this chapter so so now let us start the chapter 2.4 open your textbooks page number 34 anak krakatoa okay very interesting chapter on volcanoes so ready yes start chapter number uh, 2.4 anak krakatoa page number 34 so it is given that Krakatoa is an island in the Sunda Strait between Java and Sumatra in Indonesia. So Krakatoa is an island. Do you know what is an island? It is a land surrounded by water from all sides. In the Sunda Strait. The Sunda Strait means children. Strait means uh, it is a narrow passage of water connecting two seas or two other large areas of water bodies. A narrow passage of water connecting two seas. Okay, that is called the Strait. So here, Sunda Strait between Java and Sumatra in Indonesia. It is known for its volcano, which erupts regularly. Okay, it is known for its volcano, which erupts regularly. Erupts means <coughs> which bursts out, bursts out regularly, which bursts out suddenly. Bursting is called erupting. Okay, so this is Krakatoa. So I will be showing you pictures. I have got that map and that Krakatoa. Okay, I will be showing the next video. I will show you about Krakatoa map. Okay, so we'll come to next uh, uh, paragraph. What is a volcano? So I have told you. So here it is given. A volcano is a crack or opening in the Earth's crust. So what do you mean by crust? Crust means the outer layer of a planet. So the planets of the Earth's outer layer is called crust. So here it is given. Volcano is a crack or opening in the Earth's crust there is a there is hot molten rock hot molten rock means magma near the earth center it is said that there is hot molten rock that is magma near the earth center sometimes what happens it rises to the surface of the earth what rises that molten rock that is magma rises to the surface of the earth through such a crack or opening and flows out when this happens we say that the volcano has erupted right understood children once again let us see volcano is a crack or opening in the earth's crust there is a hot there is hot molten rock that is magma near the earth center sometimes it rises to the surface of the earth through such a crack that hot molten rock it rises to the surface of the earth through such a crack or opening and flows out when this happens we say that the volcano has erupted when this rock it flows out this molten rock flows out surface of the earth it is said that volcano has erupted that is bursted okay so a volcanic eruption happens on a tremendous scale tremendous scale means with great intensity with great scale okay with great amount it happens thick dark clouds of smoke thick dark clouds of smoke rise high from the opening no see children thick dark they are the adjectives describing clouds how are the clouds they are thick dark clouds of smoke rise high from the opening and spread in the sky you have seen that right okay spreading smoke big glowing burning chunks of rock big 
glowing that is shining burning okay chunks of rock chunks means parts of rock and red hot lava okay are thrown out of the crack in the earth what happens when this volcanic eruption is there thick dark clouds of smoke rise high from the opening okay and spread in the sky and what happens big glowing burning chunks of rock that is the parts of rock and red hot lava are thrown out of the crack in the earth what do you mean by lava lava means hot molten or semi fluid rock erupted from a volcano that is the lava that i have shown in the picture okay that hot molten that reddish color liquid flowing from the from the crack okay so lava means hot molten or semi fluid rock erupted from a volcano okay that is called the lava so very hot mud and ash very hot mud and ash are also thrown out so in this what happened very hot burning mud and ash okay are also thrown out a great volcanic eruption can change the landforms in an area okay a great volcanic eruption can change the complete landform landform mean we can say in hindi stalakruti so we can say that a natural feature of the earth surface the surface of the earth that is a landform is completely changed due to the volcanic eruption okay so this is regarding volcanoes so volcanoes are popularly classified in three categories so it is given now three categories of volcanoes first one is active volcano active volcanoes erupt regularly okay means they burst out regularly they are active volcanoes next is dormant volcanoes dormant means inactive volcano dormant means temporarily inactive is temporarily inactive or in a deep sleep okay that volcano is in deep sleep that is temporarily inactive we find information about the eruptions of these volcanoes in history but now they are quiet we get the information about these volcanoes in history but now they are at present they are quiet they are not active this is second type okay now here see one picture of volcano eruption next third type is extinct volcano extinct means no longer in existence it is no longer in existence geographers can guess geographers means an expert in geography or a student of geography that is geographers can guess by looking at the rock formation okay by looking at the rock formation geographers can guess that they used to erupt long long ago who volcanoes used to erupt long long ago but there is no record of it in history an extinct volcano is unlikely to erupt again okay extinct volcano is unlikely to erupt again means extinct means no longer in existence so these are the three types of volcanoes active volcanoes which erupts regularly dormant volcanoes means volcanoes in deep sleep temporal inactive and extinct volcanoes means volcanoes which are no longer in existence okay children so now just let us before moving forward we will just see the after effects of volcanic eruption after effects of volcanic eruption so volcanic eruption they can cause rain thunder and lightning volcanoes can also have long term effects on the climate making the world cooler fast moving lava can kill people and falling ash can make it hard for them to breathe okay children it is difficult for people to breathe in the uh, what we say that due to that ash falling ash they can also die from the mine fires and earthquakes which can be related to volcanoes these are some of the after effects of volcanic eruptions now we will see ways six ways how volcanoes benefit earth that is our environment okay there are some i told now volcanoes create volcano destroy okay so what are the benefits of volcanoes for our environment for our earth so it is given that the volcanoes can make the atmosphere cool that is atmospheric cooling can make the land fertile land formation uh, it is given that the landscape the landforms are changed so various landforms we can get next is water production then we can get raw materials okay see children volcanoes directly and indirectly produce 
uh, or host deposits of aluminium diamonds gold nickel lead zinc and copper so in that so directly it produce so many we can say raw materials okay we use most of this materials every day for over the course of lifetime so we can get good host of deposits of metals like aluminium diamonds gold nickel lead and zinc and copper so that's why it is beneficial and last is it we get geothermal energy okay through volcanoes we get geothermal energy what do you mean by geothermal energy it is the heat derived within the subsurface of the earth okay water or steam carry the geothermal energy to the earth surface it can be used for heating and cooling purposes or to generate clean electricity that is called geothermal energy so these are the benefits of volcanoes for our environment okay children understood so now today we will stop here the next period the next video we will start with the krakatoa that is the active we will see about the about an active volcano that is krakatoa okay so you be prepared you read the chapter and just go on reading so till next period take care bye bye